This week began with me voting in favor of a motion calling on the government to open safe outdoor activities. Throughout this pandemic, I've been pushing the premier to follow the advice of his science advisory table, to follow the advice of public health officials, and they've been saying for weeks that safe outdoor activities should be open, that getting outside and being active is important for our physical and mental well-being. And I would argue it's also an equity issue. There's so many families, especially with children, who live in high-rise apartments and condominiums who don't have access to a backyard or a front yard and having outdoor recreational opportunities open to them is vital. The week ended with the premier putting forward a reopening plan that includes opening outdoor recreational activities. So I wanna say thank you to all the scientists and citizens and public health officials who were putting pressure on the premier to do that. It's hard to believe that we've been in this pandemic for 15 months and we've had three disastrous reopening plans for the premier that did not follow the science, that we finally now have a reopening plan with some metrics that we can follow. The plan is far from perfect and I was deeply disappointed that the premier did not announce an extension of the Ontario Small Business Support Grant to those small businesses who are struggling and need support. The premier did not uh, uh, announce plans to make workplaces safe because we're not out of this pandemic yet. And the premier did not give parents, educators, students any clarity on whether schools are going to reopen or not. So I'm calling on the premier, support small businesses, support safe workplaces, and give parents and students clarity on what's going to happen with schools and make the investments needed to make our schools safe.